We also need to talk about Neil Woodford. And Tom, this is, no. you know, the uh, once one of the He's most had a bad week. Now, uh, fund managers in the UK and apologize yeah. for freezing the mm. fund. What what can the EC, you know, the FCA do to oversee these funds? So Neil Woodford, the, the Neil Woodford situation, I think, is a very good illustration of what we were just talking about in, in terms of market integrity. So the reason that it was necessary and essential that there was a suspension of the fund was because otherwise you could have had a disorderly process uh, of, of investors exiting. Now I know investors say well I you know that's restricted my options but I would counter that by saying that the alternative would have been much more disorderly. Key thing now is of course that that creates you a period of time it's not a fixed period of time to, to put in place a plan and a program of work that will solve that problem in as orderly a way as possible and that's what the FCA will be obviously closely uh, watching, closely in, uh, involved in where we think it's necessary. But what does it tell us actually about the funds being invested in, in the liquid securities, right? Does it say anything about the broader industry and do, do you need to look into that? Well, I think it, I think it tells us something that lies behind the, 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 the things we were just discussing about the more global situation, that the non-bank world, of course, invests in illiquid assets, and it should, because right. it's, in a way it's much better that they're in the non-bank world than they're mm -hmm. in the bank world. Yeah. Then you have to, as I say, you have to come up with and understand and deal with, with the issues that can come up there. And, and this is an illustration of how do you in, in, in allow a fund that gets into that position where it's got illiquid assets, which people then want to sell and sell the fund to exit. Because you know, 10 years ago, we were dealing with the problem of, of banks that were too big to fail. Of course, we don't want funds that are too big right. to fail.